we can use the properties of operations and the concept of place values to perform long division. So we have 600 three tenths, then six ones. So 636 divided by two, we begin with the hundreds. So how many groups of two hundreds can be found in six hundreds? We have exactly three groups of two hundreds. So three groups of two hundreds will be six hundred. So two times three will be six. So we put the six under the hundreds. Now we can perform the subtraction. Six hundreds minus six hundreds will be zero hundreds. We cannot find any group of two hundreds in zero hundreds. So we add three tens. So how many groups of two tens can be found in three tens? We can find only one group. So two times of that one group give us two tens. Then we can perform the subtraction. Three tens minus two tens will be one ten. Now we can find any group of two tens inside of one ten. So we add six ones. So we have one ten, which is the same as ten ones and six ones. That will be equivalent to sixteen ones. So how many group of two ones can be found in sixteen ones? We have exactly eight. So two times of eight ones will give us sixteen ones. Then when we subtract, we have nothing left. Therefore, six hundred and thirty-six divided by two is equal to three one eight.